So Hillisang bring out actually into Kobe on the Zaya yesterday. It worked out incredibly well for Fnatic there, and I'm sure Kaizo is trying to replicate that success. But on his instead doesn't join the fight to the bottom side. But they're still very low here. I wonder if they can find any route on towards any of the members. And now Sansara finally making his There's way down the, the did connect. There's the knockup. El Yoya does still have Flash. They don't know that, that Zanzara is here and Flash is a bound for the Mad Lions. EQ doesn't even need it. Walks forward. Aegis still lands on El Yoya who flashes. He lives! How the flip did you survive that? Less than 10 HP. Oh, Mad Lions, and you're right. Exactly. Kai's has no Flash. Flash. Knockup from SQ. Gets the Flash out of the Jinx. But now El Yoya on the way. Level 6 has been attained. TP goes up towards the top lane. Uh, from the mid lane there from Day or sorry, is Promise Q still trading onto El Yoya, who does have the Dragon's Rage, and the kick comes out and Unforgiving gets first blood. And now he's got excited as perhaps Rika is as well. Joining the fight, joining the fray, Promise Q dances away to safety. Escape art is that constantly forcing White Knight underneath his tower, kind of to be expected. Orn doesn't really do too much into the Aatrox matchup early on, but what it so does mean. He does still have. The Eye of the Rift held. Oh, he might be CC chained here, though. And he doesn't have the flash, but there's the fear, doom and gloom. Zanzar is catching the wave. Next wave still at the tier, uh, tier one tower for Astralis. Copy stepping around to the side. Not too much damage coming out of Unforgiven as of yet. TPs, none available. Rika's about to come off cooldown, but Unforgiven is forgotten in the bottom lane. And Kaiser will be the first full. Promise the stopwatch. The stopwatch. Unforgiven goes down. Astralis orchestrated that gank like a conductor. Exactly, but in the opposite side of the map, you can see they're trying to dive uh, on right now. Let's see how that goes for them. Can be very tricky to do. TP comes out from Deo as he wants to join this party. Rift Herald gets a charge in, four plates go down, and Astralis able to survive in the top side. And just like that, the worst team in our league in terms of early game gold. Just EQ That's combo onto someone, unforgiven. We'll be able to dodge away with the Gale Force through the wall. We've seen that happen a couple of times across the last couple of weeks. It is a known mechanic in armor. He wants to keep the party rolling. Zanzara locked up. No EQ for you. Armor TPs gives you so little movement speed. And Promise Q continues to try and step forward. But this is more than done for. Astralis will give up. Give up. It's made his move. The Astralis bot lane, they pay their respect. They back off. While Armut on the top side, he's able to get a top side turret. So Matt Lines right now, despite being a little bit down in the bottom, is still picking up their wins on the opposite, opposite side of the map. Yeah, got about a thousand gold lead across the board. 16 minutes in, they're not in the worst of shape, but Astralis have had a relatively strong performance so far. Lots of gold being funneled into Corby. Gonna put some gold into Rika's pockets as well with the Rift Hole coming down. Should be able to get another charge out here. Mad Lines now about a thousand gold ahead once again. Unforgiving, gonna level up as Kaiser gives him a little helping hand worth of XP. Rift Herald will get a second charge in, and Matt actually oh, might keep pushing for this one. Of course, Unforgiving very strong on this Jinx at taking down towers. Everfrost only gets the slow, there's the fear from Deor, but two towers Way to go home. Armor, as you say, has the TP. Promise Q kept out with the gravity well. Call of the Forge God coming down as White Knight looks for the backline, and Rika assassinated, but the Chrono Shift will bring him back to life. Kobe trying to survive up towards the top side, and there's an absolute cluster of Damage in the bottom. One for one trade so far. Kobe able to escape from Armor, who now jumps back into the fight. Elioya keeping himself alive. The Brittle not enough damage. White Knight locked up. Stand he up. He doesn't not die. Down. And Elioya does die. Armor keeps Kobe and Promise Q at arm's length. He'll chase them down with the chains. They're infernal, just like the rift on which they stand. Slam to the ground is Kobe. With the Aatrox jumping into the enemy face. And the thing with it is, is like you max that first on support Zilli, and it gives your teammate a nice. And Lioya and Rika hovering at each other. Zanzara looking for the engage here, but underneath the tower is not going to be too easy. Cataclysm coming down. Rika pops the stopwatch. Promise Q trying to keep Kaiser away from the fight, but Kaiser doesn't even need to join the fight as Rika just takes his in. This is the thing. They don't have the best turn there potential right now, but the TP, you called it, Medic. It's coming through, and Zanzara, he's diving in. Where's the follow-up? Promise Q had flash. Quickness doesn't connect, though. They're still looking for Unforgiven, who gets the chrono shift. He'll come back. Unforgiven, not forgotten. He's going to res from the grave, but Kobe's already killed off Kaiser. Promise Q's going to get the knockup, and Kobe gets the second of the fight. Armor joins it so late. It's basically going to be a 1v5 for him. Can he get out of this one alive? He dives onto Kobe. He's rooted. He's knocked up. He's locked up in place. Armor now on the retreat with it. Astralis allow him to escape. Feathers fly. Shut down for Kobe. He'll fall for no it. No way. But Astralis get the wipe in the forgiven. These HP bars are low. He's spawning and there. Yep, there he comes. Picture in picture. Oh, hey. oh 
it was almost an arcane moment, but that was not going on Netflix. Baron secured by Astralis and Zara Lance. Tempo that made sure you were able to clean up the match before you could go for the raid bars afterwards. That's the thing. It's uh, a lot easier. Slowly but surely pick it down. Kobe flashes forward with a Featherstorm and just finishes the ace. I mean, the big thing there is, although Kobe invested a lot, you know, Featherstorm and the Flash to get that kill, he got the shutdown. So this Zaya is only becoming stronger as the game goes on. You can see already did 5.5k in that last fight alone. Rika did what he could, but wasn't it's quite strong. Way, but he's going to get locked up with the Doom and Gloom. That fear connects. Double Bomb coming out, though. White Knight and the healing. So tanky. Armor healing up. What are we gonna see? Featherstorm, Call of the Forge, God, Cataclysm, the lockup is there, the quickness coming out as well. Ties are down and Deor flies in from downtown. The Shadow Surge found one mark, didn't get the reset though. Mad Lion still a player down in this fight. Zanzara looking for the flank. Astralis perhaps with this Baron will just take the tier two and retreat. 4,000 gold. The now, Rika a little bit caught out, but Elio is here as well. Zanzara no stunned flash. up, Shadow Surge. Oh, it was just short of Rika. Now the TP's coming in, and perhaps Astralis have over-invested into this fight. Mistral Bolt does get the resurrection out, but Armut has a good flank position. Infernal Chains on Zanzara doesn't quite connect, but Dale will be the first one to be shut down. Zanzara trying to flag and drag his way to safety, but there is no safety in the Mad Lion's jungle. Mad pick up two, they're looking for three as White Knight. He calls to some sort of guard, but whatever prayers you're praying, he ain't listening. It's a double for Unforgiven. Kobe has to pop the feathers and fly his way out of this one, but Unforgiven with the resets. Look at this time warp cooldown. It's already back up. Unforgiven can go back in. Promise Q. And for items, they do have Deor at three and a half items, and they do have a fight starting. Kaiser no flash. the target. Shadow Surge going out. Kaiser will bring himself back to life with the Chrono Shift, and that means the reset isn't there. Deor locked up, pops the stopwatch. White not going in. Promise Q and Kobe are still alive. Here. The charm onto Elioia means that he can't dive onto the back line. He's still gonna manage to get the kick. Dragon's Rage. Rika ripped through by Kobe. It's all on the AD carry, but he just can't do it. Zanzara falls last. Mad Lions. But that did not matter. As the movement speed from a strong or from armor to reset, from unforgiven to reset, it was too much to deal with. And look at that damage medic. Unforgiven is having such a start to the season. We tried to talk him about talk about him a little bit earlier, and we we're interrupted by the action. But this guy is so consistent, his positioning fights seems almost perfect at times. And here on his back, Mad Lions take the win. But who would have thought that this game